Guys, second like fourth just use in these days zero zero webpost.com I thought I'd do something basic uh, to help people who are only starting off. I always get things on the forum. How do I upload my website? How do I do this? How do I do that? And why isn't it showing when I go to my website? When I go to this example, this when I go to echo whatever the domain is dot com, and then you get an in they get an index, and they're trying to work out why am I not getting that? So I thought I'd create a couple of files and show basic people who are speeding off how to do it. So you obviously want to log into your uh, the uh, C panel with which, and then choose whichever domain from the uh, file list, and then you get this. You want to go to the file manager. Uh, log in if it tells you to. Open up. Important thing is you don't want to upload here. You've got to upload your files in the public underscore HTML folder. So you want to go into this. And if there's anything, if you've just started your account off, there will be a uh, default.php which will have a list, something about the terms of use, and a list of files. Uh, you want to delete that. This has just got other stuff in it because a couple of projects I'm working on. But uh, so create a couple of files straight off. Got a um, what a common mistake people do is they create a uh, sort of their main page of their site and they'll call it my index or my index spelled with two eyes there or my homepage hyphen index dot php or something. So I've just created a basic basic one here and we've got home and about and a couple of links around. But about oh as I put there. So you want so up I'll show you an example. So we're gonna go upload these two files here. Go over to here, we want to go uh, upload, we want to go upload on this one here. Obviously, you can upload the whole site zip or just upload individual files. Uh, we want to jump back down to our main directory and then choose my ii index, which is a weird ass name, but I thought we got the point across, and then do that. And we go click here, upload. The uh, files will upload, even though they're taking ages because even though they're really, really, really small. So we refresh this. Hopefully, that's no damage. I don't know, it, it's being rather slow. As, as you can see, my internet is being very, very, very slow. Now they've uploaded, we can refresh our page here. And normally, if it was called an index.html.php, whatever uh, the ending would be, as long as it's something that uh, recognizes with a web server, it would load up the page here. So the about one, of course, has gone and worked. If I find it, about, about, about. That one works fine. And the other one will work fine with home, but you can't, it won't, see if I jump here, go that, it won't load up the uh, your home page because you've not named it uh, index. So if we jump back out of this, and uh, the server spins around, everything takes ages, we find your uh, file, click the arrow there, go back up to rename, take off the uh, silly bits on the end, so rename it to index.html.php, depending on what uh, coding language you're using, of course, but if you're a beginner, you're probably using uh, HTML, just to make life easy. Um, now if we refresh our page, that will come up with a not found, because it doesn't exist, but if we refresh the page here, it loads up this page, and then we have our basic title, the hello, and the about, and about us, and about spelled wrong there, and it will go back and forward between those two pages. So that is how to upload a basic um, PHP website. In also, what I'm going to show in this tutorial is how to upload uh, the 00 webpostcom templates. You should, in theory, if you're going to use these templates, which you obviously want to edit yourself, so let's choose a random uh, template. Go download this one here, and then download again. It will give you a compressed file. I'm not saying really you'd want to actually download the, If you're going to download these templates, you want to uh, probably want to uh, edit them. On your local machine before uploading to the server, so I'll do it twice there. Uh, what it will give you, when you open the folder, it will give you another folder in there, give you a two, and then it will give you the license, uh, the index file, which is the default page. It comes under the Creative Commons, so you can use it. You just have to, it'll have a saying who it's made by at the bottom, and then it, the index, the default uh, style sheet, and the images. So if I was going to go out and load these, I'd go back over to our file manager. I'd close all those, I'd go upload, select a, the uh, files there, as in that one over there, the archives, go upload again, that will whiz through, and this is where we want to jump out. You want to find that folder auto, so we're going to go to forward slash, forward slash auto, 
on there, and then we want to go to again, but you can obviously move things around in directory, so it doesn't have to be an auto and set it up as the main one. But for this example, we're going to go to, and it will load up the uh, default design with some information about it and stuff, and some test links, test examples, test pages. And down here, this is the bit you need to leave, designed by free free CSS templates and those you need to leave that at the bottom because of the license and I don't you may be able to remove the uh, supported by the zero which is not actually that load up their default website which you may be able to remove I'm not sure so anyway the, the, in this video is a web tutorial I just showed you how to upload a basic HTML file and also upload a uh, basic template from zero zerowebhost.com forward slash template. Uh, for more info or anything else, uh, if you have any questions or anything else, to, to ask me in the comments below. Uh, check out the other playlist or check out, obviously, you've got really a big problem. Uh, check out zero zerowebhost.com forward slash forum and I'm sure people will be asking you, able to answer your questions there. Um, make sure to rate, subscribe, and I'll see you around.